The talk today, I'm going to mainly present three exemplary projects that uh, we have done where we are using mobile phones either to help people or to model some aspects of human behavior at an individual level and also on an aggregate level. Um, before I start, I just wanted to um, share with you a little bit about the team because we are a new organization and a new team. This is our building. I came all the way from the other side of Barcelona. Um, uh, this is a tower for Telefonica, and within that uh, building, one, we're in one of the floors. Uh, we are a small research organization. In total, it's about 20 full-time researchers. But something that could be interesting to you is that we have a pretty um, nice internship program for PhD students, whereby they can come and do a research project with us for three to six months. So if any of you is interested in exploring those opportunities, feel free to send me an email later. Uh, we also have the option to host uh, visiting professors and scholars at the lab. Um, these are the members of my team. So I'm responsible for the areas that you see here, machine learning, multimedia data analysis, big data analysis, human computer interaction, and, and mobile computing. And in just seven years, we've managed to really achieve a lot of uh, recognition and visibility externally and also internally, which I'm really proud of because it was a team and a, that didn't exist seven years ago. So um, I'm really uh, happy with the, with the results. And we've gotten a lot of visibility also in the press through some of the projects that we have done. Um, just to put in context um, what I'm going to be talking about today, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of uh, my uh, sort of like research career, so to say, um, so you get a better understanding of what we are working on, we are working. So I started working, uh, sort of like the summary of the areas where we work on is human behavior modeling from data, but the data could be any kind of data. So. At the beginning of my career, I did a lot of work on smart spaces, smart offices, smart rooms, where the data about human behavior was coming from cameras and microphones and sort of like ubiquitous sensors. I also had the luxury of working at MIT in the same team where, uh, where the wearables uh, were starting to appear. In fact, it's the team that has helped create Google Glass. So we organized the first um, smart clothes fashion show in the world, for example, in 1997. Um, after working on smart spaces and smart rooms,